Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a very interesting tool which I just stumbled upon and wanted to share it with you. This tool, which is called as Git Ingest, takes any GitHub repo or any local code directory on your local system and then converts it into a text digest or text file. Now, the usability and usefulness of these sort of tools immediately pops up data set generation for me because if you step back and look at the state of the industry at the moment and many experts and industry leaders have already agreed that we have run out of training or fine-tuning data out there so as much uh, new tools or as many new avenues we could explore to generate synthetic data and to make sure that we are using new and novel data sets for our future LLM fine tuning and generation is always useful. That plus if we have a rag pipeline or a retrieval augmented generation pipeline and we want to ingest some data from our code repos into our LLMs at the runtime, then this could be quite useful because every company, every enterprise or even individuals have their own private GitHub repos or even any Git repos. And if they want to give context to LLMs from those repos, they can use this tool or any other similar tool to ingest those code repos into LLM. So that is what we are going to see today. We are going to install this locally, this tool, and then we will play around with it all local and all private. Before I move forward, let me give a huge thanks to our very good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU and VM on a very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is the GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM which I am using. Let's create a virtual environment to keep everything separate. And now let's git clone the repo of git ingest and I will drop the link to it in video's description. It's quite lightweight. That is a good thing. Now with what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use docker. And if you don't know what docker is, how to install it, please search my channel. I already have done a very simple to follow video on it. And this is my docker version. And first up, whenever we uh, try to use docker in conda environment we need to set the permission to this socket file otherwise it gives error and once that's done we can download and build the docker images locally this is going to take a bit of a time not much because it downloads a lot of images and then builds it locally so let's wait for it to finish And all the images are done. Next up, we can run the Docker container at our local post at 8000. It is running there. Now let me open it in the local browser. And there you go. You can see that it is running in our local uh, host at port 8000. And it is also welcoming you with these bubbles. Okay, so the interface looks quite interesting here where you can see that it is telling us that all we need to do is to just give the URL here of any GitHub repo and then ingest it. We can also specify some of the exclusions if you we like. And here we can, I think, move this slider to specify the file size, which is quite good. I like this feature. Anyway, so here maybe we can go with any of um, the examples just to pay them tribute. Let's try out with their repo. So I have just click on git ingest and then I'm going to click on ingest here. Okay, so it says no file or directory. Where exactly is that one happening? Okay, let me, maybe it is path is wrong. Let me get the proper path. I have corrected the path and now when you click on ingest, it is going to convert the whole repo into text. There you go. It is telling us that it analyzed 42 files and these are the tokens which it used. You can download the whole stuff or you could just copy it and these are the file content which you can copy um, readily you can just click on this copy button here on the right hand side or just you can copy it from here and if you go through this content this looks like quite a good um, format in a markdown 
which you can easily convert into the data set and i have done various videos on data set creation or generation if you're interested have a look there it looks like a pretty good tool to me in terms of data set creation especially if you're looking to fine tune or train a model on some sort of code repos in your uh, private or um, public repos i think should be good even it is recognizing that docker ignore file quite good and then as i said earlier you can not only do that but you can also exclude and then include the files accordingly so that's it i hope that it was useful if it was please consider subscribing to the channel and please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching